Good morning. Another shave review, this time with Tallow and Steel's Kyoto. This is a limited edition. Um, this was only released, and uh, I, I'm not sure if they're coming out with any more. Um, it currently sold out. However, um, I will say I hope they come out with this again. Um, I really think that they're they're onto something with this. The way it's packaged, um, the the graphics. Let you take a look at that real quick. It, it's it's quite remarkable. Um, you can't. I don't think you'll be able to tell, but the the label is amazing. Um, it's made out of some sort of nylon linen, and uh, yeah, it's just absolutely amazing looking um, and feeling. Um, the tub. It's in your standard low profile plastic DET tub. Um, it does have the ingredients right here. I'll list them right there below. Um, same, made out of the same material, the uh, that nylon uh, type material is supposed to give the feel of like parchment, um, especially when you start taking into consideration the artwork right here. Uh, it's supposed to give you the impression of uh, one of those, uh, those old tapestries. So it's uh, really nicely uh, done. Uh, scent wise, um, off the tub, um, it's mid strong. I would say three out of five. Um, the scent notes are listed around the, uh, the the outside of the tub. I'll list those here. Um, and the nice thing is they get percentages uh, for uh, just like their their the rest of their V3 soaps. Um, they give the percentages of each fragrance oil or essential oil. Um, I believe well, most of these are essential oils. So as you can see, this is mostly yuzu, which is a citrus. Um, and the best way I can describe this scent is if you're in a, a very pretty Japanese garden that has freshly cut and made cedar furniture in there, um, and a very a, a nice small grove of uh, like lemon lime, or in this case, yuzu, uh, fruit trees that are full of fruit and ripe um, and you take a couple of those and you squeeze them in your hand until the juice starts, starts popping out and you go and you lay down on one of those cedar benches those fresh cut cedar benches so it's real aromatic um, and wipe your hands on the bench and, and and you just go and you lay down on it that smell of the the, so you're going to be covered in this this yuzu juice. So you just and might not be the the most aesthetically pleasing, but I'll tell you what the smell that you get. That's what you get out of this right here, because the cedar is going to be overpowering, but it's it, everything is going to be covered in this uh, the, the yuzu, and there's also bits of cypress in there and. Um, a little bit of, so you can get hints of seaweed that, that makes you think that the ocean's somewhere nearby. Um, it's, it's, honestly, it is, it's a really cool scent. I normally don't like cedar scents, but this is, this is wonderful. So, let me step over here, get a little picture in picture going here. Alright, so here's the soap. You can see it's a, it's a browner color. Uh, the bloom water you can see is, is has taken on a deeper hue. So we're going to dump the bloom water over here. And uh, today we're using our Rudy Vey. Um, this is a 26 millimeter chubby, and um, it's his version of the chubby. It's got a TGN two band finest. You can see it's uh, kind of broken in. The tips are starting to curl, so it's it's starting to it it, it, it has quasi gel tips. Um, they're not quite gel, but they're about as close as you can get. Um, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to start loading. And immediately, I, it, it's it's building matter imme ladder immediately. Um, last time I loaded for 30 seconds, I'm and it was almost too much, um, I'm going to load for about 20 seconds, so we're about now. And you can see I got just a plethora of pearl lather. So, so you guys can see that. And 
let's get the let's level this up real quick. How are we doing that time here? So my videos have been getting a little bit on the long side. Uh, part of it is the picture in picture because I'm showing you the lathering process. Um, I think it's beneficial to show you the lathering process and show you how and show you how each one of these soaps react. Um, uh, plus, each video can be a mini bowl lathering tutorial. So I might work the soap a lot more than others, uh, but it's just I do me. There's quite a bit of water in there, so off 20 second load, I might not need to go too much um, into the lathering. There's a little water or air in there. And let's just incorporate everything in. Again, these, these whipping motions right here, um, it does incorporate it, the, air, the air that's already in the lather. Um, it just breaks it down into smaller uh, bubbles. We're getting there. And we're almost there. Let me get another uh, squirt and a half. Gentle swirls. Put some air in there. Push it all down into the middle. Do some whipping motions and we should be done. Look at that. That's insane. The elasticity on, uh, on the lather to be able to just hang there like that is crazy. Um, yeah, the cedar is still, it's, it's so funny because the cedar is the first thing I smell. Cedar, I'm not the biggest fan of, but I, mean, I smell that cedar and it's like, wham, the cypress and the freaking yuzu just come in and, and it's really, really, it's such an interesting scent. So, all right, I got everything ready. Uh, the razor's already dropped. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my pre-shave, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're ready to go. Um, what we're going to use to take the whiskers down today is my Ico. This is a 6 8 It is a near wedge. I guess you could call it even a quarter wedge, but... Um, it's it's close to being a full wedge, but this is a Japanese razor, so uh, it's jumping rotation a little bit. But because it's a Japanese razor, I figured since I'm using a soap called Kyoto, why why not? So so strength once lathered. This is uh. Easily a three and a half to four. Once you get it lathered, the cedar never really goes away. But man, that yuzu is just. Oh, it smells so flipping good. You know, it really starts to assert itself. No, it's just like I took that yuzu fruit and stuffed it up my nose, which. If you don't know what yuzu smells like, it's a it's a bitter like a lime a cross between a lime and a lemon. Um, lather quality wise, um, it's looking pretty nice, kind of what I expected. Um, there we go. my shirt. Okay, I 
think we're ready. So, let me get this metal run mouth area. So, I can tell you this um, the way it lathered up right now, um, that was about the easiest. So for any modern artisan, um, I think the only soap I've had that lathers up any easier than that is Martin Condre, which one of those soaps where you just kind of look at it and it all of a sudden you have lather. The strange thing about Martin Condre, for those who haven't used it. Um, I will say that some people have an issue with it drying their skin out. Um, <clears throat> I don't have that issue, thankfully. But the ingredient list on Martin Condre is a ridiculously small. I think there are six ingredients. Let's look at the uh, residual. Again, my face is, is wet, but it's not dripping wet. It's just damp. water on there. Yeah. yeah. Face is mostly dry there. And uh, I'm still able to go over it and I really can't feel the edge. I can feel the razor, I just can't feel the edge. Um, so is, is it as good as the Euphros yesterday? No, but it, it's, it's at a nine. Um, good residual slickness. So all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish this, the uh, shave and the rest of the two passes, and I'll be back with my final notes. All right. Okay, guys, we're back. Finished the shave. Quite a good shave. So we use Tallow and Steel's Kyoto. This is a limited edition again. Um, I believe they're sold out of the soap and aftershave. I'm not positive. If you want to check it out, go to tallowandsteel.com. Um, that is the only place to get this. You cannot get this at wholesalers. As a matter of fact, Tallow and Steel is moving away from using the retail uh, model and wants to, from what I remember, they want to move directly through their site. So um, if you're interested in getting any of the, their, their products, uh, visit uh, TallowandSteel.com. Um, overall, um, better performance than I got with Sicily. Um, and that's not because the soap base is different. It's not because of anything else other than the fact that um, I'm learning the soap more. Um, so the lathering before it was a nine. Um, I gave it a 9.5 this time. It was slightly easier to lather. I got it there quickly. Um, so that was good. Cushion, um, it went, it was a 9.5 before. I kept it there. Um, the thing about this, this, this lather that I really, really like is, and, and this, you, you can say this for a lot of different lathers, 
but I found this a little bit easier to get to change the consistency of the leather. So if I wanted something that was a little bit more cushion, it just took a little bit more whipping on the face. And if I wanted something that was um, a lot more thinny and runny, um, I just painted it on and left it as is. So, uh, so I gave the cushion a 9.5. I was actually able to take it to a level of cushion that I very rarely get with soaps. Uh, slickness and glide, um, that stays at a nine. Um, it was still excellent, um, but it didn't improve anything over the, my previous use. Uh, residual slickness, okay, this did improve. Uh, this went from a nine to a 9.5. Um, moisturizing also improved from a nine for, to a 9.5 and uh, stability is still a five. So all said and done, um, it, it, it actually improved by about a point and a half. Uh, so it's sitting at a 52 right now, which still places it below soaps such as Holy Cow Donkey Milk uh, and Hops Extract, uh, the Ariane and Evans Declaration Grooming by Centalo, um, et cetera. Um, that puts it, I would say, uh, just short of an elite soap. Uh, and, and when I say just short, um, it's not maxing out any of the categories. Um, honestly, in my opinion, if, you, if, if you're going to be an elite soap, you really need to max out um, at least two of these six categories. Um, if you can do that, yeah. I, I, but it's, it, for me, it falls just short. Uh, the scent on this really grew on me um uh, i like i said i'm not the huge biggest fan of cedar um and that's what i got off the dry tub and that's what i got initially when i when i loaded but man when i put it on my face that yuzu just uh, comes right to the front and then uh, the cedar and the and the cypress and the seaweed and the the, <coughs> the green tea the sencha really just give and accents the yuzu and just it paints a really really nice picture in your head don't ask me what that picture was it's just it was really really pleasant uh so um all right guys um i'm i'm pretty much done here so yeah this is uh so to put it into chad's box this is a tier one box two so just short of that uh elite box one uh category so this is tier one box two stuff Great, great soap. Um, if you can get your hands on it, like I said, they just came out with three soaps. Um, so it was this one, which was the limited edition, and I believe Sicily and Madagascar are full-time releases. Um, check them out, talonseal.com. If you haven't come by and checked us out at the Shaving Cadre, come by and do so. This is a member-driven forum. This is a lot different than all the other forums out there that are moderated, heavily moderated. We are a member-driven forum. We don't have any moderators. Enjoy the discussions. All right, partake in the the video forms. Partake in the bingo, which is starting up and uh, starts up tomorrow. Tomorrow, so come on by, check us out www.theshavingcadre.com. See you there. Peace, guys.